Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Remember, you can get all of our high quality Photoshop and Photoshop Elements templates at EasyDigitals.com. And don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. We give away free templates and tutorials each and every month, along with product update info and coupons. Okay, Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Now we are going to go over how to customize the GearWorks Memory Mate. So I'm going to come up to File and I'm going to click Open. And I'm going to open the Memory Mate. And I'm going to come over to File, Open, and I'm going to open my two photos. I'm going to drag these off to the side so I can see my template. I'm going to come over to my template and I'm going to select Clip Bottom Right Photo. I'm going to drag this photo in. I went over the basics of the template in the last tutorial, so if there's anything that's not covered in this tutorial, you might want to go back and look at that one just to see if maybe it's covered in that tutorial. So I've got my picture up, and I'm going to convert it to a smart object. View, fit on screen, and I'm going to resize, so I'm coming up to my corner, pressing shift. and press enter and then I'm going to right click the layer create clipping mask so that it goes into place and then I'm going to drag my other photo oh, I should probably should select the box first and I'm going to drag it in right click um, convert to smart object and I'm going to resize that one and bring it in press enter, right click, create clipping mask. So one of the nice things about this template is if you had an additional photo and you wanted to place it here, you could actually turn off this text and you could add another photo here. And that would be right here. So you could clip two more photos into place if you wanted to move around or change the words. So that makes it pretty customizable. But I'm going to go ahead and change this back. And another thing you can do that you can't do with a lot of the templates is you can resize these boxes very easily. Let's say I decided to move this somewhere else. I could take this and arrow it down or even turn it off and I can make this box come to the box drag it down and make it bigger. So that's kind of a nice feature of this template is that you can really change the size of the photos boxes. This one too. Come to this gray box and bring it up and then press enter and arrow up. You just have to remember to change, change the um, clipping box not the photo box and then you can figure out what, what you want to do with your text if you want to add it somewhere else but it does have a lot of options in that way and for this picture it's not necessarily necessary but you can do it you can move this over and again I'm going to grab this box press enter move my player over and this you can just drag over press enter, grab this box, make this a little bit wider. So there's really a lot of variety you can do with these. And let's just say we're going to change the text. I'm going to turn my cap lock on for this. And you could change this to say football or baseball or any other text that you wanted it to say. Can add add additional words. Press enter. It's just however you want to design it. It's really up to you. So let's go ahead and change this text. And I'm going to change this to a color that matches. 
matches their uniforms. Bring down the saturation for that one. Change this to a color that matches their uniforms. Change the text. I don't need the capital, but you can use capital if you want. Um, you can grab this, make it a little bit smaller. Just use this little arrow here and get it into place. You can change the space between if you need to. You can move the sparks above or below as we did in the last tutorial. You can change the color of the sparks. You can move them up. If you grab a layer by accident and it seems to it seems that you grab it by accident a lot, you can just lock that layer and then it will it will allow you to grab the other layer easily. You may decide that you want the year or whatever word you decide to put here higher than the spark so you can just move those above the sparks and you may want to move these sparks too you can do a lot with this set and you can change this on every single template in the set so I just wanted to show you all the variety of how you could use these I think it works out pretty well to give you a chance to customize your compositions so enjoy Hey, that was easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have a creative day.